okay, grade seven, sorry I can't be here today. Um, here's what I want you to do. At the end of last class, we went over what's involved in a product analysis. Uh, specifically, uh, we talked about how you want to look at the aesthetics of each of the products you're analyzing. Um, you want to look at what they look like, if there's some kind of theme, do they have particular colors, shapes, or texture. You also want to um, think about who is the customer for the product, who's the target market, um, and how is the product designed for them. You want to think about the materials, what is it made from, how is it made. You want to think about safety, uh, particularly things like sharp edges or whether fingers could get caught or whether the materials might be toxic. You want to, and you want to think about um, the environment, both the impact of the toy on the planet, that would um, depend on the materials used, how many of them are used, um, but also think about the environment where it's going to be placed. How is it designed to be put away in a toy bin or is it going to be on the floor most of the time, that kind of thing. So for each of the different, um, each of the different toys in your workbook, I want to see you do a product analysis where you cover all five of those different um, uh, topics for each toy. To help you out, um, I have left with the teacher who is um, going to be supervising you um, this, which is a um, example of a product analysis of a toy and it's got some good ideas for sentence structure and the kinds of things you want to be looking for. So I didn't leave enough for everyone, but um, the teacher will pass these out and you can share them to help you with ideas. So that's the first thing I want you to do. So once you finish that, uh, and there's three, this train's a little bit the same as the one in the example, however it's got um, way more parts. And, um, and these cars. Okay, so once you finish that and take your time and do a really good job with that, um, you can try your hand at writing a design specification for this product, for this project. This is a list of all the needs that your product must meet. So in order for your, prod, your toy to be successful, it, you need to be able to test it against the list of features that you put in here and um, it should meet them all. And you can, what I suggest you do is use your task analysis to help you with this. If you want to have a go at this, please do. Do it in pencil, please. When I get back, we're going to go over your ideas for design specification and um, come up with uh, the best one we can as a class. So for the rest of the class, once you've done your task analysis and design specification, you can spend drawing. We're very close to doing the design and work for this project. And so one of the things you need to be able to do is sketch out your ideas with confidence. So the next sections of your um, book are, of your workbook are for you to practice drawing. So I'm not gonna go through all the pages, but I'm gonna tell you what I'm hoping you will do. I'm hoping that by the end of this, you will be able to draw straight lines in one go um, with confidence. So I'll show you the first one. So the first one asks you to draw a horizontal line about 70 millimeters long. So that's 70 millimeters is seven centimeters. And I don't have a ruler here. So, um, so let's, and what I want you to do though is place your hand. So make sure you're moving your workbook around. Okay, you don't wanna be angling your hand. You wanna be angling the paper. Keep your hand firmly planted on the desk and draw your straight line with confidence. Underneath, draw another one. And keep practicing until you can draw straight lines, see I still need to practice here, that are um, 70 millimeters long and about 10 millimeters apart. So 10 millimeters is actually a centimeter, so I need to make those a bit further. So that's the goal. If you want, before you do your six lines on a piece of paper, use the blank on the other side um, to practice first. Once you've done that, you're gonna be asked to draw vertical lines. Now you don't wanna be doing it like that. Instead, turn your piece of paper 
so that you can still do, you're basically still doing horizontal lines, but they're going straight up the piece of paper. Okay, so turn your workbook, don't turn your hands. If you feel like you're doing some kind of crazy yoga move, then you're probably um, haven't turned the paper enough. Similarly for the diagonal lines, okay, now these you want to be inside a square. Um, so you want to draw the square first, okay, draw a faint dotted line. So you want to, you'll want to draw the, the square first. Okay, see so I'm, I'm turning the paper. Now, I, since I don't have a ruler, I have no idea whether or not, um, I'm sure this, this is much less than the 70 millimeters I've asked you to do. And now draw your, your diagonal lines with confidence from one edge to the other. Okay, whoops, that one went a bit off. Okay, and you've got some other exercises there. So what we're really getting, wanting you to do is we want you to be able to draw straight lines. Here we've got, we want to have the two lines crossing at a 90 degree angle. If you want to get a compass, you can try it out. Okay, um, so do as many of these exercises as you can. Um, if you're not sure about them, just practice them on the um, blank paper on the other side of your workbook. And when I get back, we will cover the rest. So have fun, and I'll see you all next week.